Hi and welcome back. This video is going to be my personal tips on panning nail polishes. So when you pan a nail polish, it's using it from start to finish. That's literally it. Using your nail polish from where you're at until it's all the way gone. There's a couple of different definitions of being all the way gone. Sometimes I use a polish where once it starts getting goopy and won't dry, I call it quits. I'm not going to fight with it. Other times I will add in a little bit of nail thinner, polish thinner um, to the nail polish whenever it does start getting thick and goopy and that will thin it out a little bit. But when I do this it has to be like every single time that I use the nail polish and then whenever I just can't get any more nail polish out of the bottle, that's when I call it quits. My next thing is picking only like three or four nail polishes. If you pick 10 or 12 or 15, you're not gonna see the progress that you want to see and that can be really frustrating. Um, I focus on a smaller number of polishes at a time because I like to see that faster progress and only the few at a time um, that I'm focusing on those and I can work through them a lot faster. So right now I have four polishes that I am working with. A mauve one, a gray holographic, a dark purplish vampy color, and then a glitter which can be used by itself or as a accent nail or even as a topper. Um, these four I have been using for since the beginning of fall. I'll put that intro to this these four shades um, down below in my description bar if you want to watch that. Um, but I have quite a bit of progress on each of these even though I've only been using them for about a month and that's because I only have these four that I'm using. That's it. So I'm kind of like confined, but it's not like a bad confinement. And if I get super cranky with them, I either A, don't wear polish for that day, or I will choose something else that's in my little bag of polishes. If I was to choose 12 polishes and try to use all of them, even if it is throughout an entire year's worth, I would be so frustrated because I wouldn't be seeing very much progress. I personally like to see progress. I like to get them moved out. I also do this as like a rolling project. So if I use one, like um, this glitter, I'm almost done with this. As soon as this is done, I'm gonna put it in my empties and I will bring in another polish that I'm just feeling like working on. I also tend to keep my nail polish choices in the season like the season of colors. Um, that's not something that you would have to do, of course. I'm not trying to say, this is what you need to do, because I'm not like that. Um, me personally, my makeup changes, my clothes change with the seasons. I just am attracted to more, or excuse me, different colors every season. And I can show you that on my color wheel, which is, real quick, another thing. I had bought these color wheels, they were like $2 on Amazon. They came from China, so it took like three weeks for them to get here. But I got a whole stack of color wheels for like two bucks. So for me, that was worth it. So I started off the year with like this. You can see that this is about springtime. And then it gets more into my summer colors. Summer, 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 summer. And now I'm into fall. This glitter is a rollover from my summer shades. And now I'm in fall. So if I was trying to pan, like say this lime green right now, I don't think I would do very well with it because my makeup doesn't have lime green. I'm not wearing my brighter colors. My clothes are a lot more muted. Um, it just wouldn't work for what I personally like. That's also why I choose four colors at a time because I can do like an easy fall color scheme or I can do you know a summer color scheme or even a spring color scheme. It just for me it works. Um, if I had like all of these that I had to choose from right now I don't know what I would do. I would probably focus just on those four anyways. 
and then these ones would all be sitting there not being used. Also, I paint my nails like every single night, every other night. Um, it is my calm down strategy. <laughs> I do all of my chores, I get my children tucked into bed, and I finally just sit down. I have everything that I use for my nails in this bag. Um, my nail polish remover is in here, my cotton pads, my other nail polishes, if you can hear that. I have like my top coat and my base coat, everything, everything, my nail files is in here. I stick it underneath this little like side table that I have next to my couch and whenever I'm finally ready to sit down, everything's right here. It's really easy and I don't have to go anywhere. I can just sit and do my nails. So for me that works really well. So the point of that is find a time that works for you. For me, it's at the end of, very end of the night whenever my husband and I are watching one of our shows or a movie. It forces me to sit because if I do not sit, I will go and go and go and go and then it'll be midnight and I will be exhausted. So that's my time to do my nails. It might be different for you, it might be whenever the kids are at school or whatever. Um, I personally don't like whenever my nails get chippy. And that's usually like the next day because I'm always doing something. Um, so just for my own peace of mind, I'm like, I just do my nails every night. So in a nutshell, Choose like three or four polishes that you want to get through. If you have a nail swatch wheel, you can buy these at like even Sally's if you don't want to order. Um, do your little swatches and then whenever you finish one, you can exit off and you can go back through and be like, oh yeah, I used up nine nail polishes already this year. It's really kind of inspiring and, and I like to see the colors that I was really drawn to over the summer and the spring and I like to see the progression. I think that's kind of fun. My brain really likes that. Also use polishes that kind of work together. Um, so I have this gray hollow on my toes right now and right and my fingers have this mauve shade but then on my ring finger I have the glitter as a, an, an accent and I have a stripe of the glitter down right there and they just work. I can do this on my nails and then put a topper of this glitter on top of this and it's actually really pretty. Um, they just kind of mesh and they're like interchangeable but they're also super fall appropriate and if you need a break and you're just hating your nail polishes, go into your stash and use something else. It's not gonna be the end of the world. So those are my tips. Use a couple of nail polishes at a time, swatch them, mark them down whenever you use them up. Get yourself a thing, a polish thinner. It will probably save your sanity whenever your polishes get thick and goopy and just ugh. And find a specific time when you know that you can paint your polishes, your nails and you won't be bothered. Um, those are my tips. Don't try and put in 15 nail polishes that you wanna use up by the end of the year because it's gonna just be too overwhelming. And I found that I go through about between 10 and 12 polishes a year, but that's only because I'm focusing on a little bit at a time and make it like a rolling project. So my glitter is almost done and I don't even know what polish I'm gonna put in next, but it might be like a green or something like that for winter. Yeah, all right, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this helped a little bit. Um, let me know if you're doing a project polish or if you've attempted one. Do you like doing them? I know they're not for everybody, but for me, it's just kind of a fun little addition to all of my other project pans. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, so I already filmed this once, but I feel like I was all over the place because... I'm always all over the place. I'm sorry if you can like keep up with me. <laughs> You're doing good. I can't keep up with my own brain sometimes. All right. Um. Oops. Yeah. I don't even remember what I just said. Got my hair cut. I'm really feeling it. Something about me is I don't like spending money to get my hair cut, and so I rarely, rarely go get my hair cut.
but I did this time because I was really in need of a, of a channel. And then I go see my brother and my dad and my sister and my other brother is flying in um, for Thanksgiving. And one of my brothers, his uh, boyfriend, partner, is a hairstylist and who I absolutely adore. And I cannot go see them with the split ends that I had. Ain't gonna happen. I'd be mortified because I respect him way too much to show up with bad hair. <laughs> so I went and got it cut. Now I'm like rocking the curls.